Today, I'm here in Nima, a very popular Zongo community in Accra. Today, we are here to find how some women are still following their passion for agriculture, despite the unavailability of land in this choked community. Marianne Salifu is going about her morning duties, attending to her backyard garden. She has been growing vegetables for the past two years around her residence in Nima and has cultivated passion fruits, contumery, tomatoes and other fruits and vegetables. Marian, as well as some 250 other women, belong to the Mother's Club in Development. They were introduced to backyard farming practice by the German Development Association, GIZ, in 2016. GIZ has registered about 250 women in Nima. After training these women, they provided us with the necessary things we needed like black soil and seedlings for the plants. Marian benefits a lot from these crops. Besides feeding her family, she is able to make some money by selling some of the products. I feed on the crops together with my family. Through this, I sometimes save five or ten cities instead of spending it at the market. I also give some of the vegetables to friends. In some parts of the world, like Australia, backyard farming is seen as a major source of income for farmers. Here, some crops are grown even during out-of-season periods. The Deputy Minister of Agric in charge of perennial crops, Kinsley Nyako, believes backyard garden could serve as a good source of food to many Ghanaian homes. We have new technology that you can use to grow maybe tomato, pepper, onion, those things that you can use. So it's there. And that one is something that government will encourage everybody to go into it. As for the seed, the ministry always have in abundant. You need to buy. It's not for free. But the government has subsidized it just to encourage people to have uh, maybe all the input without any difficulty to be able to also support uh, whatever farming activity that they are doing. He added, the Ministry of Food and Agriculture has a variety of high yielding seeds which interested farmers can purchase to start their own backyard farms. The government will give you a, a, a subsidy on fertilizer and seeds. That is, government has a flashy program that it has introduced the purpose or the aim of that planting for food or that flashy program is to create a job and also increase production. Marianne is hoping to take her garden business to the next level where she hopes to extend into other forms of businesses. So this is a passion fruit plant. As you can see, it has taken almost the entire roof of this house. This and many other crops are what some women in Nima are doing. Apart from serving as a food for them or income, this has also widened their knowledge about health benefits of these crops. Probably this could be a solution to Ghana's land challenges in the agricultural sector. Alberta Bissier reporting for Joy Business.